Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In here today's video, we will talk about converting fractions to decimals. This topic is a must-know skill or topic in mathematics kasi even sa real life situations, magamit natin tong skill na to. At lalo lalo na kung ikaw ay isang sudyante na nag-aaral sa grade 4, 5, or 6 sa elementary. So without further ado, let's do this topic. I have here six different examples. So, ang tanong dito, how can we convert or change a fraction to its equivalent decimal? Simple lang guys. All you need to do is to divide your numerator by the denominator. Okay? So let's try it. We have here the denominator of 5 that will serve as your divisor and yung numerator mo naman that will serve as your dividend. Okay? So, upon dividing this one, 4 divided by 5 cannot be. So, hindi natin pwede divide yung 4 by 5. So, what we will do here is that we will extend. Again, we will extend our division process. So, nalagyan natin dito ng decimal and 0. Kasi para maging 40 siya. And upon extending your uh, division process here, maglagay ka na rin dito ng decimal sa ibabaw at 0. Okay? So, by the way guys, may singit lang pala ako. Observe nyo muna yung ating numerator sa denominator. Since yung ating numerator ay mas mababa compared sa yung denominator, ibig sabihin, yung magiging decimal natin, expect nyo na again, i-expect nyo na mas mababa or hindi siya pwede umabot ng full or 1. Kasi, ano siya, um, mas mababa yung numerator mo. So, check natin. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 8 times 5 is 40. So, mangyari dito guys, is subtract natin to 40 minus 40 is 0. Since 0 na yung sagot natin dito, mag-end tayo ng ating division. Ibig sabihin, the 0 0.8 is the equivalent decimal of the fraction 4 over 5. Okay? Let's continue. Let's have item number 2. For item number 2, we have 3 over 4. Now, for 3 over 4, same process. You will divide your numerator 3 by 4. Okay? So, 3 divided by 4, hindi pwede. So, we will extend our division process to become 3.0. Maglagay tayo yung decimal dito. Kailangan magkatapat sila. And then 0. 30 divided by 4. 30 divided by 4. It will give you the answer of 7. Okay, 7. And then 7 times 4. That is 28. And now, subtracting 30 and 28. This will give you the answer of 2. So, syempre, meron pa tayong 2. So, magdadagdag tayo ng another 0 dito. Again, another 0. Kasi, uh, kanina nag-end tayo kasi 0 na siya. Since 2 to, mag-end tayo ng another 0 and then bring down 0. This will become 20. 20 divided by 4, that is 5. And 5 divided by 5 times 4, that will give you 20. And kung mapansin nyo, upon subtracting these numbers, this will give you 0. So, mag-end na tayo dito. Stop na tayo. Ibig sabihin, the equivalent decimal of 3 over 4 is 0 0.75. This is the answer for item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we have 1 over 8. Um, sir, may hirap yata. Try natin. So we have here um, 8. Divided by 1. So, eight divide, uh, 1 divided by 8 is cannot be. So, mag-add tayo ng decimal dito. So, 0 0.10. So, meron na tayong 10 ngayon. 10 divided by 8 is 1. Now, 1 times 8, that will give you the answer of 8. Okay? Subtract these numbers. This will give you 2 as the answer. And then, kung niya, we will extend our division process. So, bring down 0. So, we have 20. 20 divided by 8 is 2. Because that is 16. 2 times 8 is 16. 
Subtracting these numbers, yung 20 minus 16 natin is simply 4. So may number pa rin tayo dito. So we will extend again our division process by putting 0 and then bring down 0. Okay? So 40 divided by 8 is 5. And 5 times 8 is 40. So subtracting these numbers, 40 minus 40, that, that was, this will give you 0. So automatically, we stop the na the divide. And ang equivalent decimal ng ating 1 over 8 is simply 0 0.125. This is the answer for item number 3. So, I hope na sa first 3 examples natin, magawa nyo na ng personal yung iba examples natin dito. Okay? Now, let's continue with item number 3. For item number 3, we have here... Um, one third. So, so one third natin, divide natin yung three, uh, divide natin yung one by three. So, syempre, kung mapansin nyo, hindi pwede yan. So, maglagay tayo ng zero. So, yan, zero point. Yan. Ten divided by three is three. Okay? Ten divided by three is three. Ipat lang natin. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So, check tayo. This will give us the answer of 1. And then, syempre may number pa tayo. We will extend our division process. So, kung mapansin nyo, bring down 0. And then 10 divided by 3. This will give us also the number 3. And the 3 times 3 is 9. So, check ulit natin. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then, may number pa rin tayo. We will extend this then bring down 0. So, kung mapansin nyo, paulit-ulit na yung nagiging sagot natin or ginagawa natin. Pero tuloy pa rin natin ito, ha? 10 divided by 3 is 3. Then 3 times 3 is 9. So, we will extend this number up to this number. So, kung mapansin nyo, tuloy-tuloy yan. Ang tawag dito ay uh, non-terminating decimal. So, decimal, ano siya? Ang repeating decimal siya. So, kapag sinulot nyo siya, kasi ano yun eh, ang sunod dito, 3 na naman. Another 3 na naman siya, di ba? So, hindi, hindi naman pwede yung isulat mo dito 0 0.3333333 and so on. So, instead, para mas mapaiksi yung ating sagot, ang gagawin natin dito is we will do 0 0.33. Tapos maglagay tayo dito ng, ng line sa ibabo. Ibig sabihin na simple na to ay tuloy-tuloy at nauulit yung number na yan. Okay? So, the correct answer is 0 0.33. So let's move on with item number 5. 9 over 25. So divide natin si 9 by 25. And as you can see, hindi pwede. So we will extend it here. So 0 point something na siya. And 90 divided by 25, that is 3. Kasi meron tayong 75. 3 times 25, that is 75. Now, subtracting this one, this will give us the answer of 100, uh, so 15, di ba? 15. And then, extend natin to another 0, bring down 0. And 150 divided by 25, this will give us the answer of 6. Okay? So, 6 times 25, that is 150. That's why, subtracting this one, this will give us 0. And as you can see, ang equivalent fraction ng 9 over 25 is simply 0 0.36. Okay? So, erase natin to. Let's move on with item number 6. With item number 6. For number 6, you have 6 over 10. Pero ang suggestion ko dito, tumapansin nyo diba, 6 over 10. Sir, I think we can still simplify that number. So, simplify natin. Pwede naman siya, diba? So, 6 over 10 is... 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So what you will do here is, ito na yung natin ngayon sa division. So we have 3 divided by 5. So 3 divided by 5, hindi pwede. Add tayo ng 0 dito. So 0 point something. 30 divided by 5 is 6. And 6 times 5, that will give you 30. 
Subtract natin ang zero. Ibig sabihin, kung zero na siya, the equivalent decimal of 6 over 10 and 3 over 5 is simply 0 0.6. Ito na yung sagot natin sa mismong uh, examples natin. So I hope guys na natuto kayo on how to convert a fraction to decimals. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Pero before ako magbabay, by the way, you can follow me sa Facebook page natin. Ang pangalan ng Facebook page natin ay Math Teacher Gon. Bye-bye!